What if I told you that there's a fascinating secret to helping your baby become an independent eater? No force feeding purees by spoon, no picky eating mealtime battles, no toddler attached to their sippy cup. In this video, I'm gonna help you unlock the hidden potential of your baby's ability to feed themselves using a spoon and an open cup. Hi, I'm Katie Ferrara, registered dietitian and mom of seven. I specialize in infant feeding and your baby can feed themselves from their first bites. I know that they needed you for feeding in the first six months of life, but when you start that transition to solid foods, your baby can and wants to do this by themselves. You've actually been letting your baby lead the way through the whole infant milk phase too. You know your baby's hunger and their fullness cues. You know when they need to nurse or when you need to offer a bottle and how your baby turns their head or their face away when they're full. This is called responsive feeding and it continues when you start solid foods. So by letting your baby learn to feed themselves, you help them continue you learning how to listen and respond to those inborn hunger and fullness cues. Like, do you ever eat when you're not hungry or you keep eating after you're full? You are overriding your own hunger and fullness cues. And so when we force feed arbitrary amounts of pureed foods to babies by spoon, we're just teaching them to override their hunger and fullness cues too. So don't do it. There's an easier way starting with self-feeding by spoon. Purees are an important texture for your baby to master. They're just not the only texture your baby can eat. So you can honor the self-feeding principles of baby-led weaning and still offer naturally pureed foods like whole grain cereals and full-fat whole milk yogurt or unsweetened applesauce. And we do that using the pre-loaded spoon approach. So the preloaded spoon approach is a term coined by speech language pathologist Don Winkleman. We use it to let babies feed themselves pureed foods starting at six months of age and when they're showing the other reliable signs of readiness to eat. So in step one, you take the pureed food and you put it on the baby led weaning spoon. You put your hand under the baby's hand and gently help guide the spoon to their mouth. You don't force it, it's a messy process, but your baby will get the hang of it quickly. In step two, a few days after you start solid foods, try filling the pre-loaded spoon and then laying it on the side of the baby suction mat or bowl. Let your baby reach for the spoon and pick it up and bring it to their mouth. Food will fall out, they'll chew on the wrong side of the spoon, they'll reach for it with their hands, but hey, this is all developmentally appropriate for your baby. In step three, your baby will start to dip and scoop with the spoon on their own. Now this usually happens a little bit later for most babies at somewhere in the nine or 10 month mark, but they're learning how to get the food on the spoon and then get the spoon in their mouth. Which spoon is best for babies? I use the Tiny Spoon from Easy Peasy. It was developed by their pediatric feeding expert, Don Winkleman, the same one who created the preloaded spoon approach. And this is the first baby led weaning spoon on the market. In my opinion, it's the best. The Tiny Spoon is designed for babies six to 12 months of age. It has a really small bowl that's appropriate for your baby's small mouth. It's got a lovely short, fat round handle so the baby can easily grasp it. It features sensory bumps that help your baby grade the spoon when it's going in and out of their mouth and it's made from 100% food grade silicone. I have an affiliate discount code for Easy Peasy in the video description if you wanna check out the Easy Peasy Tiny Spoon. Now remember that you're offering finger foods in conjunction with purees starting at six months of age, but you don't have to put this spoon in your baby's mouth. Putting anything in a baby's mouth, including a spoon, can be a choking hazard. Your baby can do this on their own. Your baby can also learn how to drink out of an open cup on their own too. Now you might think babies go from breast or bottle to sippy cup and then to open cup, but that's not ideal. You can skip the sippy cup. Sippy cups are not developmentally appropriate. They promote tooth decay, they delay feeding and speech milestones, and they promote overconsumption. Ideally, we want your baby off the bottle by about 12 months of age. Well, what do they drink out of then? They drink out of an open cup. How do you practice open cup drinking? So your baby can start learning how to drink out of an open cup beginning at six months of age. You start by filling the open cup with about one half to one ounce of a thick liquid, keeping in mind that the intent here is to help your baby learn how to drink from an open cup. And we need to keep those portions small and go slow. So you stand or kneel behind or next to your baby and then gently wrap their hands around the open cup. For the earlier eaters, this may take some time to get used to, while the older babies, like they start with the open cup and they really want to do it all on their own. So you gently guide the cup towards the baby's face so that they can smell what's in the cup and slowly help bring the cup to their mouth. Allow your baby to explore what's in the cup and it's okay if they aren't tipping their head back to drink at this point. They're learning how to drink and drinking out of the cup will 
keep adjusting their movements as they go. Now, you'll likely have to help with that hand around the hand approach for the first few weeks before your baby gets the hang of it. But generally, we find that it takes babies about two to three months of practicing open cup drinking. You do this five minutes after each meal, every day starting when the baby is six months of age, and pretty shortly, they can figure out how to do it on their own. Ultimately, our goal is to have your baby drinking out of an open cup on their own by the time they turn one, albeit with some spillage. Speaking of spillage, resist the temptation to wipe your baby's face as they're learning to drink from an open cup. When milk spills down your baby's cheek and into their neck, that's an important learning moment. It feels uncomfortable and they need to experience that on their own because the next time that they tilt their head or grade the cup, they're gonna make a slight micro correction to not experience that uncomfortable feeling of the milk dribbling down their neck. So there will be spillage along the way. And although it is frustrating, please remember that it is inherent part of learning how to drink from an open cup. So which open cup is best for babies? I use the Tiny Cup from Easy Peasy. This is an award-winning cup designed by the same pediatric expert who designed the Tiny Spoon for Easy Peasy. So this Tiny Cup, it's for babies who are six to 12 months of age. It's actually the first baby-led weaning cup. I love it because it's made out of food grade silicone that helps protect your baby's developing teeth. So it's appropriately sized for your infant's small little hands and the portion size at two ounces is awesome for early eaters. This cup has an interior angle flow to help your baby safely learn to drink on their own as well as a weighted base with these tactile bumps that, that uh, provide what Dawn calls topple resistance. Okay, although be prepared that there is gonna be some spillage in your life as you start this open cup drinking. I'll link to the cup in this video description if you guys wanna check the tiny cup out, but ideally your baby's gonna be able to drink from this open cup independently by 12 months of age, although there still will be a little bit of spillage. Good luck helping your baby learn how to use a spoon and how to drink from an open cup. It may feel like a lot of work right now, but you are saving yourself a ton of time and hassle down the road with the self feeding skills in infancy. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and get notified when new videos are live. Hang in there with your spoons in your cups and happy feeding.